Hi everybody, my name is Jake and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about natural gas. So when we refer to natural gas, we're usually referring to kind of a compilation of odorless and colorless gases found deep beneath the Earth's surface. And they're usually comprised of methane gas, but there are a few other trace ones in there. Like I said, they're deep beneath the Earth's surface. When we're mining at them, we at these kind of ancient reservoirs, crude oil alongside with it. When we heat it up, we're able to use it to spin our turbines, which can generate electricity. It can also be used for indoor heating, so that can be heating someone's home, heating a business, heating a factory, anything like that. And then we can also use it to give fuel to our cars and vehicles and stuff like that. Natural gas reservoirs are found all throughout the United States, but the reservoirs are mainly clustered in the Midwest around the states of Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Michigan, as well as in the South around the states of Texas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana. Cost-wise, natural gas is very affordable. Estimates show that $600 worth of natural gas produced electricity can provide the average American home with about a year's worth of power. For its land footprint, again, the land footprint is just kind of that compilation of all of the kind of factories, pipelines, drill sites that might be needed to extract and refine this natural gas. Um, so again, everything I just mentioned, all that together equates to about 4,500,000 acres worth of natural gas kind of sites. It is twice as clean as mining coal, but it's still, when it's burned, releases greenhouse gases just because it is a carbon byproduct. To learn more about natural gas and all other forms of energy, you can visit AII.org.